Hello there, adventurers, and welcome to Wall ADM. First and foremost, to our prior service and our active duty military members, thank you for your service and happy Veterans Day. In today's puzzle, our adventuring party is seeking out advice from a military hero from the past, but the only way to summon this hero is through a monument, and this monument is activated when the sun reaches a certain point in the sky and the correct code is entered into the monument. Now the setup for today's video is inspired by the Anthem Veterans Memorial in Anthem, Arizona. So let's take a look at this puzzle we're going to call Veterans Day. Before we get started, just a reminder, if you have not joined our Discord yet, I highly encourage you to do so. Come on over and hang out with me and a lot of cool folks that know a lot about D&D. Also, I have recently updated the tiers and rewards, so please consider supporting us on Patreon. All donations go to support the channel, whether it be through miniatures and train for the videos or for future giveaways. So our adventuring party has entered a room set up similar to this. We have walls along all sides, but it's an open air courtyard or an open air room or area or however you'd like to include it in your game. This could be out back behind a castle. It could be part of a city park or it could be in some type of a museum. Now, since there is no roof or ceiling here, once the adventurers come out here, they'll be able to look over their shoulders and they see that the sun is starting to come up on this side. Now there's a few things for the adventurers to look at in here, but let's take a look at the monument itself first. Now this monument, just like the one in Arizona, has five pillars that are kind of slanted down by height. The tallest one being 17 foot tall, the shortest one being six foot tall, and of course different heights in between. Now, I do have to admit that my crafts ability is not very good, but hopefully this display piece here will work for demonstrations of this puzzle. Now, each pillar of the monument has an elliptical opening or a hole right through the pillar, and those are going to be represented by these orange dots. Now we can allow our players to make a perception or investigative check and when they do we can let them know that once the sun gets to a certain point and that is going to be within a few minutes that the beams of the sun will be able to shine through each of these elliptical openings at once and probably cast a sun beam of light right here in front of the monument. Now represented by these black dots on the side of the pillar, these are all dials. Now each dial has the English alphabet, or in my world the common alphabet, A through Z. So there's 26 letters, and each dial can be turned and set on a letter. Now the second part of the puzzle that the players will need to figure out is they need to take a look at all five of these statues here. Now each statue depicts a military soldier from the past and at the base of each statue is a plaque and I will read those plaques off to you starting from left to right. So this soldier here, the plaque at the bottom says decorated ranger and soldier Mike Arzkoff. The second statue at the base of it, the plaque reads warrior of land and sea Oscar Ura. The third statue says Captain Juliet of the warship the mighty mo the fourth statue the placard reads griffin rider victor and his mount thunderbolt and the fifth and final statue reads search and rescue hero charlie prinzendam now after we have introduced the players to each of the statues and the monument itself we can now bring out our timer as the sun is in position and starting to shine its light through each of these elliptical openings. And now with everything in place, do you know how to solve the puzzle? I'll give you a minute if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Great. Now, if you have some military experience or are familiar with the phonetic alphabet, then that puzzle might have been easy for you and you've already solved it. Now, if you are a GM running this puzzle and your players are not prior military and you believe that they do not have experience with the phonetic alphabet, then before we set our timer out there, I would probably also give them 
the phonetic alphabet. And we could have the phonetic alphabet written along this wall here. So we've got Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. Now then, if you haven't already figured it out, you can see by looking at the phonetic alphabet that some things are gonna make a little bit more sense. All right, if you did not get it previously, do you have it figured it out now? Great, let's go over the answer. So we have our five pillars and we can set the letter dials to whatever we want. We take a look at this first statue, which is decorated ranger and soldier, Mike Arzkoff. Well, on the phonetic alphabet, we have the word Mike, which is M. And so this first one here can be set to M. The second one, warrior of land and sea, Oscar Ura. If we look again at the phonetic alphabet, O is Oscar. So we can set this one to O. Our third statue, Captain Juliet of the warship, the Mighty Mo. Juliet is a letter in the phonetic alphabet for J. So we will set this one to J. Our fourth one, Griffin Rider Victor and his mount Thunderbolt. In the phonetic alphabet, V is Victor. And our final statue, search and rescue hero, Charlie Prisendam. If we look again at our phonetic alphabet, we have Charlie, which is C. And now all of the letters are set in place before our timer expired. The sunlight hits and goes through each of these pillars through the elliptical opening and our players have solved the puzzle. So what exactly is going to happen? Well, that's up to you as a GM. Perhaps a ghost from the past appears and gives them a secret message or an item or information that they've been seeking. Or perhaps once all the sunlight hits through the pillars, there is now a teleportation circle and all of the characters can just jump into this portal and go somewhere in the past or another place that you have in mind. Regardless, the puzzle is solved and now you as a GM can decide what happens next. So what immediately came to mind when I wanted to do a Veterans Day D&D puzzle was the phonetic alphabet. Now the NATO phonetic alphabet is used by several militaries and organizations, not just the United States. I also want to give a shout out to Immortal Origins who had the idea of basing this puzzle on the Arizona Veterans Memorial. So that's all I have for you today, but a couple of things before we go. Number one, what did you think of the puzzle and what would you do differently? And what mission would you give your adventurers? What would be the final outcome when they solve the puzzle and the sun shines through the pillars? And the second the thing is, are you prior service or active military? And not just the US, whatever country that you are in, did you serve in the armed forces for where you live? If so, leave a comment below. I want to hear your stories or whatever you have to share. Or if you'd like to share a friend or family member that was in the service, just leave a comment below and let's get a great discussion going. Once again, I want to thank all of the prior service and active duty military members out there. Thank you very much for your service. Happy Veterans Day and on to the next. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, there are five Easter eggs hidden on each of those statues. So you may have already figured out from left to right that they were Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard, as far as the U.S. military is concerned. But there is a word in each of those five lines that has a special meaning to each of those branches of service. And if you figured out, leave a comment below and uh, have fun with that. Thanks again for watching. On to the next.